town's historic buildings in central Italy have been badly damaged by two strong earthquakes that forced hundreds of residents out of their homes. It was miraculous no deaths had been reported, Interior Minister Angelino Alfano said. Dozens of people were treated for shock or light injuries. Rescue teams have been struggling to reach some areas but officials say the situation is not catastrophic. A quake rocked the same region in August, killing at least 298 people. Wednesday evening's 5.5 magnitude quake struck near Viso in Mace Reda province, followed by a 6.1 magnitude tremor in the same area two hours later. Why so many buildings fell in August history of deadly earthquakes L'Aquila seven years on the first tremor sent people running out of their houses, potentially saving lives when the second stronger quake struck. Numerous smaller aftershocks followed. Many houses have been badly damaged, forcing out hundreds of residents, who spent the night in cars and emergency shelters. Temporary shelter was being offered to people whose homes were at risk. The quakes were felt across central Italy, including in the capital, Rome, where buildings shook and doors and windows rattled. The mayor of Usita, 5 kilometers, 3 miles, west of Viso, told Sky Italia, many houses have collapsed. Our town is finished. In Viso itself, Mayor Giuliano Pasiglini said about two-thirds of buildings were unsafe and there was a shortage of drinking water and adequate sanitation. He said most of the buildings damaged had already been weakened by the August 24 earthquake. Police were reported to be restricting access to Viso's historic center after the quake brought boulders down onto nearby roads. The town of Camerino is also thought to have been badly damaged. In Campo, near Norcia in the Umbria region, the 15th-century San Salvatore church collapsed. It had been weakened by the earthquake in August. Anxious Residents, by Julian Migliarini, BBC News, Usada the light of day after a night of torrential rain has allowed emergency workers here to get a better picture of the damage. The scenes in the affected areas are nothing like the devastation we saw in the town of Amat Rice just over two months ago. That also explains the lack of casualties after the two strong tremors. Locals here are worried, however, that the damage to tourist attractions in the area, like some centuries-old churches, may badly affect the coming winter tourist season. And the series of strong aftershocks overnight is making people anxious here. But Italy's civil defense chief, Fabrizio Curcio, said the situation was not as catastrophic as might have been expected despite the problems caused by boulders. As teams worked through the night, Prime Minister Matteo Renzi tweeted, I want to thank those working in the rain in the earthquake zones. All of Italy is wrapping its arms around the communities that have been hit once again. Viso is 70 kilometers. 45 miles, from Amat Rice, which was badly damaged in the six-magnitude quake in August. The new tremors are linked to the quake of two months ago, Italian officials say. Aftershocks can last for a long time, sometimes for months, AFP news agency quoted Mario Tazzi of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics as saying. Aftershocks after two powerful quakes in central Italy powerful earthquakes strike Italy. Campi, Italy. No deaths were reported Thursday in a part of central Italy rocked hours earlier by two powerful quakes, but the destruction of historic buildings led people to count the damage in the loss of their precious cultural heritage. As dawn broke in the area, about 50 miles north of where a deadly quake killed nearly 300 people in August, rescuers were fearful of mudslides and wary about the risk of bringing heavy equipment up narrow roads linking the towns, villages and hamlets in this hilly region of the country. The two temblers were followed by small aftershocks and one larger aftershock measuring magnitude 4.3, which struck at 8.21 a.m., 2.21 a.m. ET, Thursday. There were no immediate reports of further damage resulting from that aftershock. The second of the two quakes Wednesday with a magnitude 6.1 was 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles, north of Viso and 58 kilometers, 36 miles, from Perugia, the U.S. Geological Survey reported. A few hours earlier, a magnitude 5.5 quake struck the same region. The epicenter was about 9 kilometers away, south-southwest of Viso. That quake hit at 7 p.m., 1 p.m. ET, between Perugia and Mace Reda, according to ANSA. There was significant damage to some buildings in Viso and another town, Campi, where the tremors destroyed the historic church, San Salvatore the first severely damaged the 15th century structure, and the second finished it off. There were constant, small aftershocks throughout Thursday morning in Campi. Residents some with tears in their eyes, came to see what remained of San Salvatore, not only a part of the area's cultural heritage but also of significance as the scene of baptisms, weddings and funerals. One of the quakes leaves a house destroyed Thursday in the central Italian town of Viso. 
Civil Protection Agency officials assisted one elderly man carrying a basket of flowers he wanted to leave at the cemetery. Earlier, streetlights, likely powered by generators, remained on in Campi, but houses were dark. In many small towns, in the pre-dawn hours, there was little light, further hampering rescue efforts. A post office is damaged in Viso following the quakes. Hundreds of people slept in their cars in Campi, with blankets covering the windows. Cars were parked everywhere streets, gas stations, parking lots. Some residents had their dogs with them. Local media said one man had suffered a heart attack. Residents expressed worry that another, bigger tremor might cause even more damage. The U.S. Geological Survey said both of Wednesday's earthquakes were shallow. The main square and church in nearby Norcia, a couple of miles to the south, were badly damaged, but the church was still standing. Residents carry some of their belongings after part of Viso was destroyed. Reminders of August Quake Tommaso della Longa, a spokesman for the Italian branch of the Red Cross, told CNN that many people left their homes after the first shock and went outside when the second earthquake hit about two hours later. A child sleeps Wednesday in a secured area of Viso after the earthquakes. Viso is about 110 miles northeast of Rome and 50 miles north of Amat Rice the small town that lost about 270 residents when a magnitude 6.2 quake hit on August 24. Another 20 people were killed in nearby towns. The impact from Wednesday's quakes was even felt in Rome. Video recorded by CNN affiliate Rai Television showed a road to Viso that was largely blocked by a massive boulder. Cars were having to drive carefully around it. Stone buildings in the town also were heavily damaged. Photos Shattered vistas from Italy's August earthquake rescuers congregate in the shade near a temporary camp under construction for residents are displaced by the earthquake in Amat Rice. Italy, Italy earthquakes, widespread damage in historic towns Historic buildings in central Italy have been badly damaged by two strong earthquakes that forced hundreds of residents out of their homes. It was miraculous no deaths had been reported, Interior Minister Angelino Alfano said. Dozens of people were treated for shock or light injuries. Rescue teams have been struggling to reach some areas but officials say the situation is not catastrophic. A quake rocked the same region in August, killing at least 298 people. Wednesday evening's 5.5 magnitude quake struck near Viso in Mace Reda province, followed by a 6.1 magnitude tremor in the same area two hours later. Why so many buildings fell in August history of deadly earthquakes L'Aquila seven years on the first tremor sent people running out of their houses potentially saving lives when the second stronger quake struck. Numerous smaller aftershocks followed. Many houses have been badly damaged, forcing out hundreds of residents, who spent the night in cars and emergency shelters.